Hello everyone! How are you today? I am your teacher, Jem Raimon, and today we are going to discuss your week 5 lesson and this is all about solving routine and non-routine problems using data presented in a pie graph. Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel, Tutorial by Sir Raimon. My name is Mr. Jem Raimon Ischen, Master Teacher 2 from Escalante Central Elementary School. Click like and share if this video tutorial helps you. Don't forget to click subscribe below to keep updated for my future tutorial. For your suggestions, especially on the topic for my next tutorial, please leave your comment below. Hope you learned something in my video lessons for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Stay home and stay safe. And welcome to our mathematics class. And our objective for this week is to solve routine and non-routine problems using data presented in a pie graph. Let's have first the what I know part of your module 5. Now, the pie graph below shows the percent of book donations that Escalante Central Elementary School has received from its stakeholders. The school has received a total of 2,500 books in five subject areas. So you are given here a pie graph which is entitled Book Donations from Stakeholders. Araling Panlipunan 15%, Filipino 15%, English 10%, Mathematics 35%, and Science 25%. Let's answer question number one. How many are mathematics books has school received? Now, if you notice, you are not given here the actual number of books donations, right? You are only given percent and the total number of books, which is 2,500. Now, for us to answer question number one, we have to solve using the data given in here. Now, for us to solve number one, of course, we need the total number of books, which is 2,500. And that 2,500 will be multiplied to the percent for mathematics books donations. So if you are to locate mathematics here, this is 35%. We will multiply 2,500 by 35%. And of course, in solving, we need to convert 35% to decimal. And how are we going to do that? We will move decimal places to the left. So here's the decimal place. And then we will move it to the left. Okay, twice. One, two. So meaning 35% is equal to 0.35. If you are going to solve this, you need to convert percent to decimal. Just like you see here on the screen. So 2,500 times 0 0.35. Okay, so we will solve. Now, 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 0 here is 0 again. 5 times 5 is correct. 25 carry 2. 5 times 2, correct. 10. And then we, add, we have to add 2 and that makes it 12. So, this is 12. So we are done with 5. Let's go to 3. 3 times 0, correct, 0. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 5 is 15. 5 carry 1. 3 times 2 is 6. Plus 1 will be 7. Now, we have to add. Of course, we have to bring this down, 0. 0 plus 0 is equal to 0, of course. 5 plus 0 is 5. 2 plus 5 is 7. And 1 plus 7 is 8. Now, we need to place decimal point in our product here. But how many decimal place value? Yes. In our factor here, we only have two decimal place value here, which is located in here. So that is one, two. So meaning we will count one and then two, then we place decimal point. So if you are to look in here in our choices, 
The correct answer for number one is letter C. Mathematics books that Escalante Central Elementary School receive is a total of 875. I hope you, it is clear to you now how to solve the number of books if this is only given in our data. Number two, how many English books are donated? Now, same as we did a while ago. Of course, we have to use the total number of books donation, which it which is 2,500. This time, we are asked to get the number of books for English. Ito na yung English natin, 10%. So, anong ginawa natin kanina? We convert 10% to decimal. So, we will move to the decimal places to the left. One, twice. Okay, one, two. So, this is 0.1. So, we have 0.1 is equal to 10%. So, it's very easy, no? 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 5 is 5. And 1 times 2 is obviously 2. How many decimal place value we need to place in our product? Yes, only 1, no? 1 decimal place value only is reflected here in our factors. So, we have here one. Yan. So, 250 books for English. So, that's letter A. Okay? Next. How many are science and araling panlipunan books? So, meaning, you are asked two subjects for item number three. So, obviously, you are going to add the number of science books and the number of Araling Panlipunan Books to get the answer for number 3. Let's have first the science books. So, to, science books is 25% and your Araling Panlipunan is 15%. Okay? Actually, we have other options to solve this class, no? So, but then I'll be showing you uh, one option which is for me is the fastest way to do it. So, we will add the number of percent first before we multiply to 2,500. Now, i-add muna natin yung science at saka yung araling panlipunan in percent. Okay? So, add muna natin yan. So, we have 5 plus 5 is 10. 0 here and then carry 1. 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 40 percent. So, meaning, if you are to find the total number of books for science and araling panlipunan, you have to use 40 percent. Okay, this 40% will be used in multiplying our 2,500 here. And that 40%, that 40% is equal also to 0.4. Now, 0.4 here is equal to 40%. Okay, so that's it. So, 4 times 0 is 0. 4 times 0, another 0. 4 times 5, how much? Yes, that's 20. Okay, so this is 0, carry 2. Okay, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10. How many decimal place value? Yes, we have only 1. So, meaning, ang total books na na-receive ng Escalante Central Elementary School for Science and Araling Panlipunan is 1,000. So, the correct answer for number 3 is letter B. Number four, how many more mathematics books were donated at Escalante Central Elementary School than science books? So, what we're going to do here is to subtract. Kasi, because of more here and then done here in a word. No? These are the clues for us to subtract no? the number of books in mathematics and the number of books in science. Because these words, more and done here, signify... Comparison. No? I-compare natin yung number ng books of mathematics and the number of books of science. We will solve first for mathematics books. Okay, that's 2,500. And as you notice here, we have 35%. So, 35% for mathematics is 0.35. Diba? So, we will solve that. 5 times 0 is 0, of course. And 5, another 0 here is 0. 5 times 5 is 25. 
And then 5 here, carry 2. 5 times 2 here is 10 plus 2 is 12. We go to 3. 3 times 0 is 0, of course. 3 times 0 here, another 0. 3 times 5 here is 15, carry 1. And 3 times 2 here is 6 plus 1 would be 7. Okay, so we add. So we have 0, 0, 5, and then we have 7, and then we have 8. We have 2 decimal place value. So maglalagay din tayo ng 2 decimal place value sa product natin. So, that would be 875. That is for your mathematics. That is not yet your final answer. Let's solve for the number of books in science. So, science, we have 2,500. And science here is 25%. And 25% is written as 0.25. Kanyan. Okay? So, 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 0, another 0. 5 times 5 is 25, carry 2. And then 5 times 2 here is 10, plus 2 would be 12. Okay? Next, let's go to 2. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 5 here is 10, carry 1. And then 2 times 2 here is 4, plus 1 is 5. So we add. We have 0, 0. We have 5, we have 2, and we have 6. So, two, we have 2 uh, decimal place value here. So, maglalagay din tayo ng 2 decimal place value sa ating product. Yan. So, meron na tayong total number of books sa science. This time, since we are comparing, so yung mathematics books, is subtract natin yung science books. So, magiging 875 minus 625. Okay? So, 5 minus 5, of course, that's 0. 7 minus 2 is, that's 5. And 8 minus 6 is 2. So, meaning, 250. Mas marami ng 250 na books ang mathematics i-compare natin sa science. So, yung answer natin for number 4 is letter B, 250. Number 5. What learning area received the highest number of books? So, basis sa ating uh, pie graph dito, anong subject area ang mas marami ang na-receive na donation ng Escalante Central Elementary School? Obviously, that's mathematics. ba? So, makikita mo na yung uh, portion ng ating circle graph dito, mas malaki ang for mathematics, kasi nga, 35% na donation ang na-receive ng school. Hanggang dito na muna ang ating discussion class. Kung gusto mong mapanood ang second part ng ating video lesson, for this module, pwede mo namang i-click yung link na nasa itaas. That would be our part 2 for our video lesson in your module 5. Keep safe everyone!